welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Rich Reviews and you join us on the way to the first car meet of the year of 2022, the Italian Cars and Coffee at the Classic Motor Hub. We're just driving in convoy now to the Classic Motor Hub. We've got Blue 458 behind us. We've got our, our colleagues 458, Red 458 Corsa in front of us. And we've got a yellow 355 in front of our colleague in front there. <laughs> Driving down now to the classic motor hub down a little country lane that takes us in. So we're here at the Cars of Coffee event at the Classic Motor Hub. Today is the first event of 2022. As you can see here, we've turned up in our 458 Spider, and we've got our friend Nick's 458 Spider here as well. We always have a joke about his interior because he's got the Crema Comfort Seats interior, and we've, we've of course got the race seats. There's always this competition between owners that have the comfort seats and the race seats. Neither is better, of course, but there's just a little bit of banter that goes on. As you can see here, it's got the classic Crema interior with the, with the comfort seats. Obviously, you get benefits of the comfort seats um, with regards to them being electrically operated and heated as well. So it's a nice spec car. Not as good as mine, of course. <laughs> so we're just going to walk down the line here. These cars are local to where our 458s are. We've got a 996 Turbo here. We've got a couple of Club Sport replicas. Classic number plate on this, Boost. Can you tell it's turbocharged? We've got a 912 here. And we've got a couple of Aston Martins here along towards the end of the section here. Viewers of our channel may recognize this car. It's our friend's 355 Spider. We were following this down. You'll see in the footage as we came into the hub. This has got a Capristo exhaust system on it, a valved Capristo exhaust system. Sounds absolutely awesome. <laughs> It's got the classic Nero black interior, obviously left-hand drive. 
a bit of a nightmare when you're trying to overtake in the UK with left-hand drive, but of course when you go over onto the continent, it's a lot easier because that's mostly left-hand drive. We're one of the few countries nowadays that is, is still retains the right-hand drive process of driving, or drive on the right-hand side of the road. Notwithstanding, of course, this is a, a manual car with a proper gated shift, as opposed to an F1 box. It makes a lot of difference on the 355s. So, avid, avid viewers, ready? Got the local the local idiot here that's turned up at the Cars and Coffee Club. <laughs> you might recognise him from the from the Top Gear. He's the one who was the only one in costume at Top Gear. He's still in costume. Yeah, still in costume. Still in costume. Yeah. Can anybody gather what car he owns? So Richard's, I think it's a Fiat or it might, might be a question of the Alfa day. Romeo what or was it a Porsche? Was it Porsche or is it Porsche? Now I, I know you need quite... to tax your brain for yeah. this one, but what car do I own? You own one what of the make? Loser Let's cars. start with make. See if you can one, guess what one, make it one is. One of the crapper cars. Yeah. Avid viewers of the channel will notice this 458 Spider here, TDF blue, Cuyo interior, and this is the car as I've, uh, as I've detailed and, and shown on the channel before that has the very rare option of having center center seats in Alcantara, which is very nice, very, very nice indeed. That would have been a great addition to my car spec. And this color really pops in the sunlight as well. So this is a carbon fiber rear diffuser, which is very, very rare on 458s. Generally, this wasn't specified because these can be very brittle. They're brittle in the normal plastic version as well. And if you hit a bump or whatever, they can smash and very, very expensive to repair if it's carbon fiber. <laughs> Coming through here, we've got a 348 here. 348 GTS, no less. So this panel actually removes, so it gives you like uh, it gives you the perception, or it gives you the targa effect. So you've got the open top section. Obviously, you've got the these. I don't know if you call them buttresses at the back end, and then if they call those buttresses on the 348. And the thing that was the 348 was very renowned for was fantastic steering feel. And the 348 was always in the shadow of the 355 but they're coming into their own now. The, the values are picking up on the 348. So as we move along here, we've got a very old Dino. Now I think this has had a few paint jobs on it at various different times, because it's got quite a few different shades of yellow on it. And uh, it looks like at some point, this will probably be purchased by somebody who will restore it because it's, um, it's showing its age a bit now, but it's a beautiful example from the point of view of it being a Dino. Not actually badged as such, but of course uh, the Dino brand wasn't classed as a proper Ferrari. Um, it was separated away because Enzo wanted to um, show respect to his son. His son had, had recently died, and so he created the Dino brand to pay homage to him. And as you can see here, of course, the early Dinos were actually uh, fiberglass. So as you can see here, it's fiberglass paneling. You can see it's splintered at certain stages in the in the fiberglass panel work as well. And that is always quite expensive because once you take away the paint, there's a hell of a lot of work to repair fiberglass panels and fiber, fiberglass sections. Probably why the work hasn't been done on the car at the moment because it's, uh, it's going to be a full-blown restoration. It'll be very, very expensive. As we move along here, we've got, uh, a, a, we've got a California. We've got uh, one of the original Californias. Obviously, this has got the folding rooftop similar to the 458, and it's got the same gearbox as the 458. The, the 458 seven-speed gearbox, dual-clutch gearbox, was actually implemented in the California, first of all, before it was pushed into the 458. So it's a very, very tried and tested gearbox. Hence why it's very reliable when it went into the 458, because any issues were resolved in the California. Here we've got a beautiful TDF Blue 328, um, a GTS as well. So you've got, again, this, this Targa configuration where you can remove the center panel, crimmer interior, and of course the gated shift. So it's a beautiful, beautiful version of a, of a 328. And this is, the, this is the progression forward from a 308. The 308 was a three liter. Actually it was just under three liter, but they call it a three liter. And this is the, this is the increased horsepower um, and uh, cylinder capacity up to a 3.2, hence 328. Eight meaning V8. <laughs> so here we've got a 355 Berlinetta. And this is the classic colors, Rosso Corsa with a Kremer interior. And it's an F1 gearbox, so not a sought after after the, after the after, not a sought after as the gated shifts. Nevertheless, a beautiful addition. 
And here we've got another 355, so it's 355 City at the moment. This again has got the F1 gearbox, and this again is a GTS. So you've got the removable target top panel. So here you can actually see, this is, a, this is a very good how this has been uh, configured now. And by that, I mean that the actual target top, the GTS panel has actually been put in its proper position behind the seats. This is rarely done. Usually the cars arrive with the panel removed. Um, to events like this, but you can actually see where the panel's been popped in behind the seats, which is its proper placement when the panel's been removed. So pretty cool. Now I'm not too sure, I'm not too up to speed on these, but this is actually an Alfa Romeo 8C. Um, you've got this in two tones, so yellow on the front, red main bodied colour. Again, I apologise, I don't know what the formal name of these colours is. Um, as you can see, it's got the interior, which is just like a 599. This is pretty much a duplicate of the 599 interior. Apparently the HCs were well known for that. We've got a mug of tea in the centre as well, in the centre console. Impressive. As we move along here, we've got a 991 GT3 Touring. These are fantastic cars. In effect, you get the GT3 without the wing, and uh, as, it, as, the name, as the name defines, it's the Touring, touring edition of the, of the GT3. Fantastic cars. Very, very usable as a daily. Moving along here, we've got a Hurricane Performante. Always tell a Performante by its colouring, the tricolour flag down the centre by the centre rockers. And this is actually a metallic green as well. This is like metallic green, not too sure of the actual colour, but it's metallic. And here, moving across here, we've got a 612 Scaglietti. You can see here the problems that some of these uh, suffer with where you get some discolouring on the, on the covers over the headlights. And it's got split rims on this on this 612. Looks like a Cuyo interior, beautiful tan interior, and it's got the uh, auto box. So a single plate auto box. They were a bit clunky on, in those days, but it is what it is. It's before they inc they implemented the dual dual plate clutches. We move along here. We've got another 458 Spider, and this has got the black interior, got the red Cavallino stitching on the headrest. And this is obviously a Nero interior, same colour as mine, but the comfort seats. And if you look at the steering wheel, you can see that there's a lot of gloss on the steering wheel, and that's usually a giveaway that the car's done a, a sort of, isn't low mileage, but nice condition. Look, it's got the exhaust, the sports exhaust tips as well. On, on these, you could option uh, what they called Ferrari sports exhaust. What it actually meant was you, you were stating that you wanted black enamelled, and tailpipes. Usually the calipers on Rosso Corsa cars are coloured yellow, so here we actually have one that's got the calipers coloured red to tie in with the bodywork. Usually people look for a contrast, especially when you've got the yellow centre caps, usually people try and align the calipers to be the same colour as the centre caps and to pull in with the badge as well. This is a Cars and Coffee event, so this is the first event of 2022 and we've got a great turnout, fantastic array of cars, very eclectic range of cars and of course um, great turnout for people as well. So you'll join us on the journey back. Uh, we might be going for a meal, we're not too sure yet. Might be off to the potting shed to get some food. Uh, but either way, you'll join us on the journey back and then we'll close out the video. But for now, we'll close out the video from the Classic Motor Hub. So we just left the Classic Motor Hub and we're on our way to Crudwell to catch some food at a lovely little restaurant called The Potting Shed. much been the pure definition of what it's like and and the fun it that it is to own a supercar like a 458 to be able to do some spirited driving to an uh, to an event uh, at the classic motor hub and um, for the cars and coffee and to be able to drive back go for a meal afterwards etc um, with a few other cars it's just great great fun you know that's what it's all about and to really enjoy the 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 car meet people 
um, go to an end event, get some great coffee. It's, yeah, it's just really cool. It's really the definition of what owning these cars is all about. So we're just driving past Kemble now. You can see all the stored aircraft on the side. I think these are all decommissioned aircraft. Well, it's quite obvious actually because they haven't got any engines in them. This has got a great coffee area called the AV8, which is a great place to go. You can get food there as well, but probably we'll go there and get some coffee and uh, just watch the world go around really, watch the light aircraft come in, land and take off. Again, another characteristic of living in the beautiful area in the southwest of England. We're just driving into the potting shed and we've got an Aston Martin in front of us. It's quite busy here in the car park, so it's going to be interesting to see where we can park. So we're just driving back now, we've had a great day today, went across to the Classic Motor Hub for their first Cars and Coffee event of 2022, then we popped over to the, to the potting shed at Cradwell, had a great meal and now we're on our way back, we've just stopped off for a coffee at Laycock and then we're on our way back, so fantastic day and really depicts the type of event and the type of fun you can have in these cars. Thanks a lot for watching guys, if you enjoyed the video please give it a like, very important for the good old YouTube algorithm and we'll catch you in the next video.